But Levi, what? So I'm going to start every <laughs> Levi video. Um, why do you remember when me and you played the remake of Resident Evil like a year or two ago? Um, yeah. <laughs> That's about right. No, yeah, I do I do remember it. All right, so the or first Resident Evil was the one in the mansion, right? Yeah. Okay. They escaped to the mansion where they thought it was safe yet. So this game takes place the day before. If you recall, at the beginning of the first game, Alpha Team was going out to find Bravo Team, who was investigating the cannibal murders, right. and they went missing. Well, this starts out with Bravo Team, which includes Rebecca, who was the girl we had to save in the first game, right. even though she's strong and independent. All right, we're going to play on normal, because that's what we are. Like Tom Tucker's son, with his upside-down face, we're completely normal. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, is this here, the game the that came down, on sorry. like it came out on like GameCube or something? Yeah, just like the remake. Um, unfortunately, this is one of my least favorite Resident Evils. I've only played through it once in like the history of it being a game. Um, I've never played through this uh, PC version all the way. It's uh, it has a lot of problems. Uh, apparently, a Walbert is playing Dark Souls. So that's good for him. So with his adorable tails icon, but um. Yeah, it uh it has problems, and as we get to them, I'll passive aggressively explain them to you. But basically, they wanted to reuse the engine they had built for the remake on GameCube, so they made another game that's like a, a prequel of sorts. Is this the one that takes place at least partly on a train? It starts on a train. Okay, I remember when this came out because I remember watching a review of it on G Four. Yeah, Adam Sessler was like, whatever. <laughs> I'm fucking three sheets of the wind on coke. I don't give a fuck. I always feel like traveling on a train would be somewhat relaxing. I do too. I actually would really like to um, go to like the West Coast or something by train. Because I feel like it would be slow and just kind of chill. As long as some creepy guy in a dress doesn't sing on top of a mountain and make leeches attack you, then you should be okay. <laughs> that seems... Seems unlikely, I guess. But. Resident Evil is so... Uh, like, Silent Hill is a series about a town possessed by, like, a demon that manifests your, like, sins. But it makes more sense than fucking Resident Evil, which is based on, like, science. That's what... That's what doesn't make sense to me about these games is... I feel like with the first one, you had zombies and whatever. And they, like... I guess even in the first one with the mansion, they still tried to bringing all of the, like, occult type stuff and all that, but I feel like if they had just stuck with the whole zombie plot line, it would have been fine, but they very quickly delved into a lot of other weird shit. There's a scientific reason a man in a dress can sing and make leeches attack you. Of course. So this is Star's Bravo team. Uh, I per yeah, Rebecca's basically the only one that survives from these guys, so don't get too used to them. She <sighs> Go ahead. I feel like uh, Resident Evil characters have a distinct look. Yeah, yeah, I can see like that. Like their models look a certain way. Which they, they've changed over the games. Mm. The one thing I can say about this game is it does play like classic RE, so I like that. This is before 4 changed it to be more of you know, an over-shoulder action series. Right. But still. This game could be better if it was more like the first one. <laughs> it's too different. So I can't get over that Rebecca is a member of this elite Special Forces Police Unit. She's 18. She's like a prodigy that went to college early and graduated at 18. And she's like a chemist and a field medic. But she doesn't. She looks like she should be at a Hot Topic buying like Invader Zim and My Little Pony t-shirts. And also like went to college early, chemist, field medic. Why is she on? Like, why is she a member of this team? I feel like there should be. They, there are plenty of other positions that she would have been better suited for. And apparent, according to the dialogue in the first Resident Evil, she also services the helicopter, which is probably why it crashed. She's like, I got the valence electrons balanced. <laughs> this helicopter's strong enough for a man, but pH balanced for a woman. This is Billy Cohen. He apparently was being transported as a prisoner who murdered 27 people. It's not like we'll run into him or anything. Yeah. Uh, hit a couple of notches on the volume. The mic shouldn't pick it. We're, we're playing this without headphones on, so we're, we got to ride that line where we can hear it, but the mic isn't trying to... Like, if it was an old 30s cartoon, the mic would lean over and have a big old ear with a hand up to it trying to listen. Um, so, yeah, basically, 
people were dying in the woods around Rapid City and they were being eaten and so they thought it was like cannibal murderers. So they sent one half of their elite forces. Raccoon City is like a Midwestern... I mean, it's a big city, but it's just like a Midwestern city. Why does it have this huge special forces unit? Like, because they are... It's not like they're federal government or anything, right? Like, they no, are Raccoon City. they're the city. Star, Raccoon City Stars unit. Special Tactics and Rescue Services, I believe it stands for. Is Raccoon City in Colorado? It just says the Midwest oh, okay. when they talk about it. Also, why did they all separate, like, your special forces unit? Why are none of you going with each other? Yeah, and I feel like, why did you need to separate? Because you know where you're going. It's this train that's broken down that's glowing red. (laughs) So basically, they went out in the helicopter. The helicopter had a malfunction and had to come to emergency landing. They fanned out. They found the transport that had Billy Cohen in it, and everyone was dead and he was missing. And then Rebecca found this broke down train. So that's, that's where we're at right now. So... One thing I do like about these PC remakes of this is I like tank controls, which is where you have to basically turn and aim yourself. Right. Because it's convenient when camera angles change like this. But in these versions, uh, the the cross pad does that, but the joystick moves you fully 3D. I feel like we had the same conversation with the, the first, first remake. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, like, Rebecca, like... Her, the way her, she has, like, her pants are rolled up, no socks. It's so unprofessional. She's wearing, you, you can see it, she's wearing a choker. I don't really feel like that's, like, a police uniform thing. <laughs> Son, I, I don't know why Albert Wesker approved it. If I was Albert Wesker, I'd be like, you have to wear this dog collar, and I'm going to pour these Oreos on the floor, and you're going to eat them like an animal. And she's like, okay. I guess. And she looks over, and Barry's like, everyone had to do it. <laughs> All right, let's look at dead people. Look at this compressed GameCube ass video they tried to stretch to 1080. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look great. She just looks so frail. I'm not trying to be sexist, but like, how is she going to be special tactics and rescue? She's so tiny. Look, she's got a fanny pack genuinely on her fanny. Is it? (laughs) You're giving me such a stilly silence. Zombies.net. I'm trying to figure out where this noise is coming from? Is it the rain in the game that I'm hearing? Uh, you're hearing like background noise? Yeah. I don't think I have to kill this guy. Okay, I can run away. Uh, there is rain in the game. I think what you're hearing is the fan on the laptop. Oh. We're playing this on my new gaming laptop. So... Brag about it. Well, it's the only reason I'm able to come over to your house. <laughs> so here is the single greatest thing they've added in these uh, PC re-releases of these games. In the old ones... You either had to wait, let your gun empty, and then they would reload it, or you had to go into your menu, click, click combine, combine right. it with ammo. And this one, you can aim and press the run button, and they'll just reload. Well, that's nice. That wasn't in any of the originals, I, I, because Japan. That's incredible. They, they take slow steps. We just got done being mad at Castlevania, <laughs> so we know their game industry. I do like how, for two, two things, one, that we came to this game... It, it, you saying it's your least favorite Resident Evil after being mad at Castlevania. It's true. And then I said that I couldn't play Castlevania as a kid because I was too scared of it. So then we go to this. Yeah. This is the Castlevania 1 of Resident Evil's. <laughs> oh, we haven't even stopped to examine our inventory. I do like... Uh, she does get a Samurai Edge Stars Beretta. Apparently Barry Burton had a custom Beretta made uh, for each member of Stars, And most of them somehow was made custom to reflect them. Huh. Uh, I don't know what Rebecca's is. It probably shoots pellets. <laughs> it's airsoft. <laughs> but, uh, uh, and then, um, I do like the, uh, the Parabellum 9mm bullets. I like how they have this little Surgeon General's warning on them. It's like, warning, bullets can lead to birth defect. <laughs> you know, in Europe, every box of handgun bullets just has a picture of a dead, shot up motherfucker on the side of them. With a skull and crossbones. Uh, Rebecca's personal item is this uh, mixing kit. She can mix chemicals and herbs. Uh, even though every other character in every Resident Evil can mix herbs, in this game, only Rebecca can mix herbs. Oh, good. She's the Prometheus of herb mixing. In well, I'm, I, I'm assuming, canonically, after this event, they added that class to the STARS training yeah. uh, where everyone can mix herbs. <laughs> even though in Resident Evil 1, which takes place a day after this, <laughs> everyone's mixing herbs. Like Even Chris fucking Redfield can It was mix an herb. e-learning that yeah. they put out. <laughs> Wesker was like, you're all going to lose your certification <laughs> unless you take this. Also, this guy attacked by the leeches that spread the virus and just didn't become a zombie. 
Huh. He, he was like Kirito at the end of Sword Art. He just decided he didn't want to die or become a zombie. <laughs> I'm going to keep making anime references just for you. That's the common thread of all of these videos. <laughs> it's the, the Cornetto trilogy of Levi Tenfei videos. Oh, I get that reference. There, oh, damn it. I got to start over now. <laughs> In the video. All right. That's a locked ass door. This guy will never get up. No, why would he? He died holding a train key. He died doing what he loved, having a key on him. Uh oh. Who this? Oh, it's that guy. So Billy Cohen, his picture—it seems to be this is what he was wearing when they were like prisoner transporting. Yeah. Him. They like he's at the one prison where everybody gets to dress up as like a cool <laughs> like Dwayne the Rock Johnson badass. He's got like a super mullet. But it, you can tell it's a Japanese super mullet because he's got that one hair hanging in front of his face that he has the brush to the side before he kills Frieza. Also, I'm guessing that tribal tattoos didn't take off in Japan because his is just nonsense. Yeah, well, he's not. He's, he's American. That's why I mean, like, yeah. as far as the way they designed it. Like, it's sort of tribal, but they just kind of, like, did some lines. He was trying to get the Japanese words for badass. In tribal. But the guy just drew way too big and also had no idea how to read Japanese. Also, uh, is this Edward Dooley? Edward. Yeah. He's a Stars member that you never see outside of this game. Rest in peace. He's like, Rebecca, there's some serious shit going on. What is? What did you do? Did you go to college and you're good at playing the piano? So Albert Wesker <laughs> scooped you up while you had the chance? Put you on this fucking SWAT team? Yeah, he's like, no one else shall claim you. <laughs> you go chess prodigy? <laughs> yeah. Albert witnessed him beating fucking Bobby Kodak in Deep Blue, and he was like, I must have you. And when Edward showed up, he just handed him a gun and a vest, and the guy was like, what? <laughs> Shooting dogs! Dogs in these remakes are bullshit because you can't, like, hit-stun them like you can in the future ones. Uh, so you just have to shoot and pray that you kill them before they get to you and grab your arm. Yeah. I've watched Carcinogen, uh, the famous uh, speedrunner of Resident Evil games, uh, do a no-damage playthrough of this game, and that's one of the hardest sections because they'll j if, if you don't get lucky and your gun hit-stuns them, they'll just run up and grab you. And they do that dog thing where like they grab your arm and pull on it, and they think they're playing with you. Okay, you're going to see this a lot. For some reason, the menu is X and not Start. I do, the controls in this game are different than other Resident Evils, too, so it's just another reason for me to hate it. Okay, so we have a key. We know Billy Cohen's there. Edward Dooley's taking a nap. He's, he'll be perfectly fine. He's fine, yeah. He's just asleep. Yeah, he's walk up, put some tussing on it. Walk that shit off. I have always liked the uh, Resident Evil loading screens. Did you see the slick way that <laughs> yeah. zombie's trying to play it off like he's so cool? He's like, hey, sweet cheeks, come to this train often. Not a zombie. He was like, I must have fell from heaven because you're an angel. <laughs> Rack is like, what? Fresh. Oh, God. The conductor's coming. Let's hope they drop before they get to me. <laughs> That's all you can do in this one, son. I will, uh, the remakes of the Resident Evil 1 and then this game, conversely, since it's the same engine, made the zombies much more dangerous. Because in the, uh, like Resident Evil's 1 through 3 on the PlayStation, as long as you had a slight bit of distance, you were fine, and the shotgun was always a perfect decap. In this one, if you point blank them with a shotgun, there's like a 50% chance it decaps them, and there's a 50% chance that they just get mad hmm. and keep coming. Um, so have they only done HD remakes of this one and the original so far? Well, this, yeah, because, um, yeah. 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 I, I don't know what else I was trying to Well, technically Resident Evil 4 through 6 are on PC. I oh, guess you right, could call right. them that. It's uh, eggs. I don't like Some it. kind of eggs. So we can get a close look at Rebecca and all her fucking... Hot top elite, elite police officer outfit. <laughs> Not only does she have a fanny pack on her fanny, but she's got a side pack too. So if Rob Liefeld's watching this, he's going to be rock fucking hard. Yep. That's like her, a her rescue vest. She's like, listen here, mister. You're going to jail. It's not a very bulky vest. Presumably it's uh, Yeah, because it, if they, she, they gave her a standard issue Kevlar vest and she couldn't stand up, <laughs> they were like, get one of the, <laughs> go to my fishing boat and get, and get a life preserver and paint a cross on it. <laughs> this poor girl. <laughs> they, we had to fill a quota when we hired her. What's the name of this train? The Ecliptic Express? It is. All right, let's uh, talk to Bill. Oh, no. First, uh, Enrico, I believe, 
the head of Stars Bravo. He's like the Wesker of Stars Bravo. He makes a brief appearance in the first game where Wesker shoots him. Can you read me? Please respond. Oh yeah, this is where he's like, we found out Billy Cohen killed a week's Baryon. She's like, but he's so handsome and strong. Mm -hmm. I've always depended on the kindness of escaped convicts. <laughs> she doesn't. <sighs> this is going to be such a problematic playthrough because I just can't see her as an elite. I mean, technically she's the field medic, so maybe she was never meant to go into a train full of zombies <laughs> and fight them. <laughs> but she just doesn't seem like the type to be out there getting... I mean, Jill, Jill fucking Valentine, she's got big shoulder pads and a beret on. She'd take charge. <laughs> Which, to be fair, I am more incredulous of the fact that she's 18 than the fact that she's a frail girl. <laughs> yeah. That's true. See, Jill is like a 20-something, a yeah, so she's, she's got experience. Yeah. She, like, talk about fucking Rosie the Riveter, her ass in there. All right, now Billy's going to talk all condescending to Rebecca. This is my chance to the defend her, mm -hmm. to white knight the shit out of her. Be like, don't worry, my lady. Well, isn't that the whole kind of meta point of um from here or meta kind of goal with uh, Silent Hill 2 is the main character in that is, is it Silent Hill 2 that's the girl like no, the that, teenager that, girl? that's three okay uh, like the whole point is like they tried to make a character that felt helpless and so to make it more uh, terrifying maybe she is a teenage girl but she's a teenage girl in a Japanese game which means you immediately get a katana and just start fucking Sonic the Hedgehogging through people He's like, watch out, sweet cheeks. You get a splinter. It's something girls are afraid of, right? Splinters? I don't know. Get your cooties away from me. I wish I was back in prison with all my male friends. With my twin Cody. I wish I was back in prison where I got a harsher sentence due to my gender. <laughs> We're going to tackle so many social issues in this video. All right, let's go up to the dining car, which is upstairs for some reason. Yeah, this train has multiple floors. That's weird to me. Freaks me out. It's, uh, the Hogwarts Express didn't have two floors, and that fuck thing is magic. God, this looks rough. Yeah. These cutscenes. The game itself looks really good. Look at all that artifacting in the blackness. I guess they couldn't do much with these because they were pre-rendered. Yeah. They should have like had live actors reenacting them. <laughs> I'm sure he's fine. Yeah. Leave him alone. He's like, oh, oh God. God. He's like, I need my pill. <laughs> That's not great. He may have been made of leeches. He's, he's like he's man. like Oogie Boogie. Mr. Oogie Boogie says there's trouble close at hand. So don't touch me when I'm eating the fucking steak. <laughs> Rebecca's like, that didn't rhyme. Oh, God. Frank Leechman, I believe he's known as. Let's, I like how you don't have to fight this guy. You can just run away. <laughs> like, is there nothing on the other side of it? Oh, God. Well, no, because you just get this cutscene regardless. Oh, okay. So we'll just save ammo. Now, if any one of those had bitten her, she would have been infected with the T-Virus. But Billy shot two of them, somehow not hitting her. And, and then they, killed all they of them. all just kind of gave up. Look, he's super cool. Fucking Max Payne. He's like, I need painkillers to fight these leeches. <laughs> My daughter died. I'm a human being. Are you okay? I was one of those tomatoes. <laughs> Look, she's his friend now. He's like, let's make out in a barn. She's like, where are we going to find a barn? And he's like, damn it, umbrellas cut off every avenue. <laughs> oh, this is where we officially get uh, the guy up there singing. Oh, I thought you were going to say this is where we see a barn. <laughs> There's probably a barn out here in the uh, Arclay Mountains somewhere. Just singing at leeches. Why not? <laughs> what? J Japan's so odd when it comes to this guy. shit. Um... RE2. That's your favorite one, right? Yeah. That's um, the one that, in January, the remake's coming out. Oh, shit. So, that's the one that's in, just like, in Greater Raccoon City, basically. The whole game takes place. That and Resident Evil 3 both take place in Raccoon City. But they're, like, outside. Like, or you can be outside. Yeah. Okay. You can catch him outside. How about that? That's what Nemesis says. You just remember, I will shoot you. Look, she's being so tsundere. She's like, you're a straight baka. She's like, just be clear, I'm not going to share my bento on the school roof. Even though I cook hot dogs cut up to look like octopuses. And Billy's like, damn, my favorite. Cut me right to the quick. I got fucked eight times in prison. It didn't hurt that bad. All right, now we get to play super co-op mode, basically for the rest of the game. So we control both Rebecca and Billy. Um, you can switch between them at any time. 
your partner's on auto, so they'll follow you. And if you get in, if you see enemies, they just start shooting unless you put them in don't shoot mode. Okay. If I use the right stick, I can guide Billy around. And then if I hit uh, Y, I can switch between them. And then one of the, if I hit one of the bumpers, we can separate. Sometimes you have to separate them. Mm. Now, what makes this so annoying for this game, and one of the things I hate about it, is if we go in our inventory, so each character has their own inventory okay. of six items. You can't increase the size of it. Unlike the other Resident Evils where there are item boxes that can hold infinite items and they move, you know, you can get them from any item box. Right. That's not in this game. You just have to drop shit on the ground when you don't have room anymore and it stays where you dropped it. Huh. Which means if you want to like move all your shit from one area to another, you have to like run back and forth like a pack mule. Six at a time, basically. Yeah. Or and, twelve at a time. And it's just a tremendous fucking uh, pain in the ass. Why am I doing this? So and and if you like, you, you want to like have both your people have handgun ammo, then you would put like half on each of them, and it's just a pain. But then the opposite is that if Rebecca runs out, I have to go into Billy's inventory and give her bullets out of it. It's just a huge pain in the ass. It seems like an afterthought uh, design. Billy has a f uh, different handgun, but luckily it uses uh, the same nine millimeter Parabellum. So ain't that lucky? It looks like essentially the same gun, just. Uh not the stars uh, customized one. Yeah. And he also has a knife. And his personal item is a lighter, because males in Resident Evils always have lighters. Although his has no uh, fuel in it. Probably because he kept it up his ass in prison for nine months. Do you use it at any point? Yeah, you gotta light shit. Alright, so we're gonna do some puzzles. So. Yay, puzzles. So it's gonna be split, everybody split up mode here in a second. So, um, we need to go on the roof of a fucking moving train in a rainstorm at night. Is the it moving again? Yeah. Oh. That's why they didn't just get off the train and leave, because it started moving again. Gotcha. And there ain't no getting off this train. So this seems pretty unrealistic. I feel like she would be blown away very easily in this scenario, but... It doesn't look comfortable. At the very least. Son, she's fucking soaked right down to her asshole. Maybe she's got a clean, dry pair of drawers in that fanny pack. <laughs> I'm going to keep bringing that fanny pack up. Rod Liefeld's going to love this shit. Okay, now we have to, like, fix an electrical problem on the roof in the rain. Oh, good. Luckily, she's a college graduate? Yeah. She learned this in chemistry. She was, like, learning about moles and... How to the, the neon is a noble gas, and they were like, "Also, oh, here's how you put two wires together." Once again, the leeches just knocked her over. They didn't infect her with a T virus. All right, so we are trapped in this room because uh, the key or something. There's something stuck in the knob. So now we have to get this train key. Okay. <laughs> we have to go over here to the dumb waiter. No, I don't want this herb. It's like fine, stupid. Hope you die. It's like, damn, it's such a, a passive aggressive herb. Come on, sweetheart. I'm so impatient. Look at that old ass nineties phone. So now we can put this in here. So exciting. This is I'll go over and you're asleep with a nightcap on wrapped up in a blanket. <laughs> so we send the dumb waiter downstairs. Okay. Then we switch to Billy. Now we go downstairs to get that key, and we have to go to a completely different train car to get an ice pick to knock the thing out of the door so Rebecca can leave that room. This is just training you how to do this shit, because you do it more later in the game, and it's more convoluted. All right. And there we go. We have a train key. Good for us. <laughs> we did it. Yeah. We do it. Resident Evil 2 remake. Okay. The one downside to having the 3D controls is it gives you a split second between camera angles to readjust before you turn. That tank controls don't have that problem because they just, you know, aim you. Oh, uh, because you can just hold a direction. Yeah. I feel like Millie's handgun, by default, is more powerful, but we do find uh, an item to let us upgrade Rebecca's later in the game. So, that's the main difference between them. And you get other guns? Yeah, I mean, there are uh, there are more weapons in the game. These are the only two handguns, but there is a Magnum handgun. Because the whole thing's not on this train, right? No, nah, this is just like the prologue. 
Like I could I could think Billy maybe took these clothes off of somebody or found them in this train, but I'm pretty sure the picture you see on the fucking prisoner transport report that they looked at at the beginning he, has him dressed like this. Yeah, he's definitely wearing at least a tank top. He just he 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 kept his blue jeans and his boots up his ass in prison. <laughs> he was like, "Yo, take my freedom, but you never take my dungarees." <laughs> Don't you stand up. How oh, dare The me. train is in motion, sir. The train captain has <laughs> told you all to put your seats in the upright position. Look at his feet are just sticking out like an asshole, like Wile E. Coyote. <laughs> all right. Fun Tenfei fun fact for people who have watched every Tenfei video. I did stream uh, this game once and uh, did this train part, and I died at the end of it, and then I just never played it again. I was so embarrassed. <laughs> I think Edward might have handgun bullets on him. Hell yeah, Edward Dooley. Your death weren't in vain, son. I like that it just has them in his hand. <laughs> it's just He was going to throw them at the dogs. How do Resident Evil characters know they don't need a key anymore? That's one of my favorite things in these games. It was like, you don't need this. Throw it away. Yeah, and then or you do. It, like in some games, it just tells you that it just does it automatically. Yeah, they're like, this key is fucking dead to you. <laughs> Here's a map of a train for some reason. <laughs> Not a lot of deviation. Sit this here button. I pick up that green herb and that red herb, but poor Billy has no idea how to combine them. He's a good Christian boy. He don't know about rolling herbs. Okay, there's shit in here to have. Oh, yeah, this fancy. So this briefcase, we need two special rings to open it. It's like a leather briefcase. I have a knife and a gun. Yeah. And arms. <laughs> Big, meaty, descendant from gorilla arms. Also, the briefcase looks like a cassette. It does kind of look. Yeah, because of the little things. Look at that. That's why we got you here, Leo. These hard hitting facts never get by anybody else. Okay. So, what's in the briefcase? Uh, a key card, I believe. Of course it is. It's, it doesn't make any sense in Resident Evil because it's a sensible thing to have in your briefcase. <laughs> Look at this fancy bar that's on the another section away from the fucking dining car. Seems very odd. He heard a hand on the roof. <laughs> yeah, the same face I would have had. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're going to equip this knife because I'm going to try one of Cursidogen's speedrunning tactics that might get me killed. And if it does, I'm going to throw a tremendous fucking tantrum. <laughs> so let's hope it works. We're playing on normal difficulty, so it should work. Do you ever get the handcuff off your hand? I'm pretty sure he keeps that the whole game, <laughs> son. It, somehow, he doesn't hilariously get handcuffed to Rebecca... And then both of them get diarrhea at the same time, and they're like, oh, God, we got to share a bathroom stall. It's so embarrassing. Have, they both have different prom dates that they have to go on. <laughs> yeah. I think yours makes more sense than my <laughs> diarrhea story. <laughs> 